So partial fractions decomposition only works if you have a proper fraction, which means the degree of the numerator must be less than the degree of the denominator. When you run into a case like this where the degree of the numerator is greater, you're going to have to use polynomial long division to transform this integrand into the right form. And I'll put a link up to a polynomial long division video to explain the meaning of the remainder because it's really important. But in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do the long division and express it correctly with the remainder. So I need a placeholder in here for the linear term that wasn't in the numerator. I'll say plus 0x minus 3. And then I'm trying to guess piece by piece. What do I multiply x plus 1 by to get this, um, the part inside the division sign? So I would start with an x because x times x gives me x squared. But I have to distribute to the 1 as well. I subtract that from the original polynomial. And I ended with 0x minus x here. The x squared terms canceled out by design. That's the one I was trying to match perfectly. And then I have to pick a constant that when I multiply it by this gives me the negative x. So that's negative 1. Then I get negative x minus 1. Then I subtract that. And again, by design, the leading term dies out. And I have a negative 3 minus negative 1, which is negative 2. So I could say remainder negative 2. But it's important to know how to interpret that remainder. It actually means that when I do this long division, I end up with an x minus 1 plus the remainder over the original denominator. So each of these pieces is now easy to integrate. I end up guessing the antiderivative of x, which is just 1 half x squared, antiderivative of 1, which is just x, and then finally I end up with a negative 2 and this term, 1 over x plus 1, well, it's just going to give me a natural log of x plus 1. So natural log of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus c.